I struggle sometimes with being a great conversationalist. It is not difficult for me to express all the ways I love you. Mark, while I may have been a skeptic when we first met, you've done plenty of convincing in the meantime, and I promise I will only be a skeptic to everyone else. I promise to make the next dozen years even more of an adventure than the last. You are patient, long-suffering, generous, joyous, thoughtful, sacrificial, funny, and you make me the happiest man in the world. I vow to cherish who you are and how completely you love me. I vow to be a great listener who hears your heart and always takes your side. I vow to celebrate all of the ways God has gifted you and always be your biggest champion. I vow to race you to apologize when we fight and always win. I vow to always strive to be our dog's second favorite parent. I vow to do a better job caring for myself so I can focus more on taking care of you. And while I can't promise our life will always be easy or pain free, I vow that it will be the greatest adventure and I will always love you with all of my heart. I love you. I promise to never stop fighting you just so we can have opportunities to make up for. I'll always love you, for richer or poor. But please, can we try for richer this time? <laughs> I'll stick with you through sickness, even another pandemic, even if you lose your voice, even if you can never sing again, and you have to go back to school and find a whole new job. I'll stick with you. I promise to always come up with silly adventures, even when I tell you that we travel too much, and we spend too much money. And I promise to love you, even when I want to fight you, even when I want to strangle you, even if you bring home a third puppy, which I wouldn't be too mad about. Too thick and thin, because you're my forever, my always. You did it. <laughs>